We exactly. got a gentleman right here who's obviously interested and has a question for us. I'm uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley. I got a question. Uh, what do you think about six nine? Huh? I want to know. I want to. I want to know about about your hair too. I fucking love you. I'm a fan. I saw you talk about this before, but I'm a fan, dude. I think it's almost fascinating. And I know the question is for you, but uh, but I just stole it. But um, I think it's just the dude's fascinating, bro. Like when he said he was gonna be on at midnight, I fucking showed dude, up. I was there. Yeah, I was there. I'm a fan too. But then people like, oh, he's a snitch. I don't give a. F I don't pay attention to who he snitched on, what he was in jail right, for. I don't, I don't give a fuck. It's, I just think his music hype. <laughs> we're going to the gym, or we're fucking. We're, we're, we're getting hype. I'm throwing on some 6 9 Gooba. Yeah. And if I got to watch the music video with Nicki Minaj, watch that a couple times already. Do you see that yet? Yeah, I saw it twice, <sighs> dude. Those tatas. But yeah, it, I'm a fan of his. He's a character. Yes. That is his character's working. And about the hair, before we even knew 6 9 like my debut, did, we talked about, hey, let's do my hair like, rant, like crazy. And I kind of wanted to establish my name in the UFC, get it, you know, show that I'm for real. And then, uh, so, so the hair. Was definitely a little bit inspired, but I'm like, dude, that his, his hair looks sick. It looks fucking crazy. And he's a, yeah, and he's a fucking character. I want to be a character. I want people yeah. to be like, what the? If they never seen fighting, I want them to look at the screen and be like, oh, what the? F I, I want to watch this guy right. fight. He got crazy hair. He's tall as shit, skinny. Well, you have to stand out, especially if you want to. I mean, there's, it's interesting to watch what you guys do in y'all's business. Like, it's definitely changed over the past few years. I think with guys calling each other out more, mm -hmm. like becoming characters. Mm -hmm. Like, everything in the world has kind of become. You know, we talk about it a lot that everything's kind of become like the WWE a little yeah. bit. Fuck like yeah. every like politicians, everybody, it's all about just sound bites and how can I how can I rise out of whatever's going on and and, and be seen really? Absolutely. Um, yeah. And it definitely seems like you do that. Do you think you'll have a different hairstyle? Like do you have other plans for like uh for future bounce? Yeah, I think we're gonna continue with the like doing different colors of my hair. Danny, my girl, does hair, so she right. did all this. So and she we got a bunch of different colors. So we'll play around with it. Um maybe I was thinking like uh whoever i fight next wearing their flag color hair oh that'd be dope just, just to peck at him like when i fought jose i like to say things that are gonna nudge at him when i fought jose i said we'll see who's more mexican yeah and he got pissed <laughs> but then i get people saying you're racist like my girl's fucking mexican <laughs> yeah. um but just saying little things that are gonna fl fire people up because if i can get someone emotional to fight me right they're gonna come forward like jose did they're gonna come forward like eddie did and want to take my head off and that's not a good game plan you're getting knocked out doing that so if i can get someone emotional and want to really just hit me that's good because do you respond like say if somebody did that to you you don't respond to it the same I way i don't take feel? anything personally right like i know i understand that like you could say i fucked your mom a bit cool like yeah. you could sell it somebody but my mom yeah my mom fucked at least probably five people everybody's mom did <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but just not taking anything personally right and yeah because uh, it's interesting because she's so that's what okay so to you it's like it's a game it's a it's a show it's a show it's a fucking it's sugar yeah but i'm i'm sean in, in a way where i'm always kind of sean but i'm not gonna take it personally right it's gonna be if i take it personally that's gonna affect how i fight i might fight emotional right and when i don't fight emotional, i fight calm yeah, very calm, and I feel like the more calm I can be, the more dangerous I am. So if someone says something and I get personal about it, I think that could change how I fight. It definitely changes how people fight me. Oh, for sure. They get well, it's how most fights start. Like if you're just in regular human interaction, like at a bar or post dude. office or whatever, most people fight because somebody gets fucking pissed. Emotional. Yeah. And guys like Cody Garbrandt who get mad if you sneeze next to him. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like, holy shit, that's too easy. Yeah. Like I'm sure he's already just at home just going to... You, good afternoon and other times thanks for watching that video you just saw i mean it was okay but the next video you could watch could be way better what if you watch a video right now that changes your life well you could watch this one or watch this one watch this one watch this one watch this one ah